Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here with my Moto 360 and a new Android Wear update, Android Wear 1.3. Brings along interactive watch faces along with another watch face called Together. Connects you with another person, allows you to send updates to them. Let's check it out and see the update. All right, and real quick, just want to show you guys I am on Android Wear 1.3. Settings about versions and you'll see up at the top android wear 1.3 all right and with the update there's a couple new apps the weather app has been updated where it gives you just a four-day forecast right here and that's it so it's a little bit updated and then also you have a new translate app and this is actually pretty neat standard you can switch the language of course you have a bunch of different options but watch what happens when i tell it something hey be sure to give this video a thumbs up all right, so it'll show me the specific translation, but watch what happens when I turn my wrist. It's gonna show the person across from me exactly what it says. So that's actually a really neat thing using that accelerometer and it's very snappy. There's no lag at all when turning my wrist. There's also a together watch face where you can pair with someone over the internet. You'll see I'm paired with Jason. He's actually in New York. I'm in Chicago. To give you an idea, you have new messages vibrate. You can share activity like driving, running, and you have two options. You have digital and analog. So here is the analog watch face. Let me light this up so you can get it. So there's the analog and here's the digital where it has the seconds counting. And with the together watch face, when you pair with someone, you can actually tap on their contact photo and send emojis, doodles, photos, stickers, clear watch face, and you can unpair and configure. So let's go ahead and send Jason an emoji really quick. You can draw one or there's an option. So let's send him a heart and it gives up options. Clearly, I don't know how to draw. So I'm gonna send him an ear and I'm gonna hit check. Now what that's gonna do, it's gonna show up, see where the smiley is. That's where it's gonna show up in his watch face. I'll show you that in a second. You can do doodles um, where you can just draw free hand draw stuff uh, where I could just say, hey, and then it's gonna actually show up on his watch face. Now you can also send photos and it goes through the gallery on your phone actually. So you'll see I have a picture of a keyboard real quick and I sent that. It's very quick and that didn't take long at all. And then I'm gonna also send stickers. So you can send stickers as well. Just kind of new in Hangouts. They have all these stickers kind of combat Facebook Messenger and it sends really quickly. All right, and this is actually a doodle. My watch just vibrated, and you'll see it pops up. It says, hey, and then you'll see it sits behind the clock, whether you clear it or if Jason were to send me something else, it would clear it and replace it with another image. All right, and Jason just sent me a photo. There's a decent gap. There's about a minute delay, and you'll see he just sent me a picture, and it sits in the background and replaces that other doodle that he sent me previously. And finally, he just sent me a sticker. You'll see it popped up right away and it sits in the background behind that clock. The update also brings interactive watch faces and you can find them in the Play Store through the Android Wear app. You'll see Bits watch face and Under Armour. Those are two new ones as of right now. All right, to show off the interactive watch face Bits, here it is. You'll see right in the middle, you have a clock and then you have options to select. Um, you have steps, you have the date, the weather which actually expands to show you more information you'll see at 6 p.m it's going to be 72 degrees uh, down at the bottom you have your calendar which shows you when you have a next event that it's happy birthday Raphael. Uh, and then other ones they just expand to a bigger icon so they aren't necessarily interactive where it doesn't show me who called and who the missed call is from so that's a little unfortunate there also when i pull down you'll notice it flash a little color next to the battery icon i'm not exactly sure why it does that you can also customize which icons show up. You can add battery, you can add stocks, and time zone as well. Another interactive watch face is this Under Armour one, and it gives you information, I guess, on fitness, such as miles, steps, calories burned, and you also notice a little animation depending on where you press on the watch face, and it changes what information it displays. But overall, that's about it for interactive watch faces as of right now. However, there's lots of potential. You'll see you got Bits, Under Armour, and then of course the Together watch face, which is pretty cool if you have a friend that you like to stay in contact with or a significant other throughout the day. But overall, let me know what you think about the update. If you got it on your Android Wear device, if you've been using it, um, how well it works, everything like that. Let me know if battery's draining, anything like that. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Also, subscribe to my channel. Lots more Android Wear stuff coming soon, including a new Moto 360 I know is coming out soon. Uh, and that's about it. So thank you guys very much for watching.